The information in this essay is for learning and protection only. Never use these tricks to hurt others or break the law. Let's dive in and learn how hackers break into Android phones. Android phones are everywhere. Millions of people use them every day. Hackers know this. That is why they often target Android devices. These phones hold a lot of personal information. Think about what you keep on your phone. There are photos, messages, call logs, and even banking details. Hackers want this information. They can use it to steal money or blackmail you. Android phones are popular because they are flexible, but this flexibility can make them easier to attack. Hackers can find weak spots in apps or the system itself. If you understand why hackers target Android, you can learn how to defend yourself. The more you know, the safer you will be. One of the easiest and most common ways for hackers to break into your phone is by tricking you with fake apps. Hackers are clever. They might disguise their fake apps as fun games, useful photo editors, or even important tools like banking or shopping apps. They know what people are searching for and create apps that seem helpful or entertaining. But behind the scenes, these apps are hiding dangerous code. This code is designed to steal your information, spy on your activity, or even take control of your device without you knowing. When you download a fake app, it often asks for a lot of permissions, sometimes more than it really needs. It might want access to your contacts, messages, camera, microphone, or even your location. For example, a simple flashlight app shouldn't need to read your messages or use your camera, but a fake one might ask for these anyway. If you allow it, you're giving hackers a direct line into your private life. Most people don't think twice, they just tap allow to get the app working quickly. Hackers count on this. They know that when you're in a hurry, you're less likely to read the fine print. That's exactly how hackers get in. With those permissions, they can unlock your phone's secrets and access sensitive data. Once the fake app is installed, it can quietly steal your chats, photos, passwords, and even listen to your calls or track your movements. All of this can happen without you noticing anything unusual. Some of these apps are designed to run silently in the background, using very little battery or data so you don't get suspicious. You might not even notice them running. Your phone could be compromised for weeks or months before you realize something is wrong. That's why it's so important to always check the source before you download any app. Make sure it's from a trusted developer or company. Phishing is another common trick that cybercriminals use to steal your information or money. It's a sneaky way for hackers to get you to reveal personal details without you even realizing it. Hackers send you a message or email that seems completely normal at first glance. These messages can pop up in your inbox, your text messages, or even through social media apps. It might look like it is from your bank, a friend, or even your phone company. Sometimes, it could appear to come from a delivery service or a popular online store you use. The message usually asks you to click a link or download something urgently. It might say, there's a problem with your account or that you need to confirm some information right away. If you click, you might be taken to a fake website that looks almost identical to the real one. These sites are designed to trick you into entering your username, password, or even your credit card number. This site will ask for your password or other sensitive details. And once you enter them, the hackers can use this information to access your real accounts. Sometimes, clicking the link will download malware straight to your phone. This malware can steal your data, track your activity, or even lock you out of your device until you pay a ransom. Phishing messages can be very convincing and are often carefully crafted to look real. Hackers use tricks to make you trust them. They use real logos, familiar colors, and urgent language to make you panic. Messages might say things like, your account is locked, or you have a new message to get your attention. These urgent alerts are designed to make you act fast without stopping to think if the message is real or fake. This sense of urgency makes people act quickly, which is exactly what hackers want. They hope you'll click before you realize it's a scam. Section 5. Public Wi-Fi, The Hidden Dangers In today's hyper-connected world, it feels like you can't go anywhere without seeing a sign for free Wi-Fi. Whether you're grabbing a coffee, waiting for a flight, or checking into a hotel, public Wi-Fi is always just a tap away. And, let's be honest, it's super tempting. 
you're out and about, maybe you need to check your email, scroll through social media, or even get some work done. Free Wi-Fi seems like the perfect solution, right? It's so easy to just connect and start browsing, barely giving it a second thought. Most of us don't even pause to consider what could go wrong. But here's the thing, public Wi-Fi isn't always as safe as it seems. In fact, it can be a playground for cyber criminals looking to take advantage of unsuspecting users. Hackers can easily set up fake Wi-Fi networks with names that sound totally legit, like Free Coffee Wi-Fi or Airport Guest. You might think you're connecting to the cafe's network, but you could actually be connecting to a trap. If you connect to one of these rogue networks, the hacker can see everything you do online, every website you visit, every message you send, and even the personal information you type in. But it doesn't stop there. Even on real public Wi-Fi, hackers can use special tools to sniff the network traffic. That means they can secretly monitor your online activity without you ever knowing. They can see which websites you're visiting. And if those sites aren't secure, they might even steal your usernames and passwords. Imagine logging into your email or bank account only to have your credentials stolen in seconds. Sometimes, hackers go a step further. They can send you fake software updates or trick you into downloading malicious apps, all while you think you're just getting a routine update. That's why, when you're using public Wi-Fi, it's best to avoid logging into important accounts, like your bank, email, or work portals. The risk just isn't worth it. Don't enter passwords, send private messages, or share sensitive information while connected to public Wi-Fi. Even a quick message could be intercepted. With a VPN, your data is protected and you can browse with confidence, even on public networks. So next time you see that free Wi-Fi sign, remember, convenience is great, but your security should always come first. Spyware is a special kind of malware. It hides on your phone and collects information without you knowing. Spyware can be installed by fake apps, phishing, or even by someone who has physical access to your phone. Once inside, spyware can do almost anything. It can read your texts, listen to your calls, and take photos using your camera. Some spyware even tracks your location in real time. Spyware is hard to spot. Your phone might slow down, or the battery might drain faster. But often, there are no signs at all. That's why it is so dangerous. To fight spyware, keep your phone updated and only install trusted apps. Run regular security scans and watch for strange behavior. When hackers get into your phone, they can see almost everything. They can read your private chats and messages. They can see who you call and even listen in on your conversations. Hackers can also access your photos and videos. This can be very personal. Sometimes hackers use these pictures to blackmail people or embarrass them online. If you use your phone for work, hackers can steal important files or company secrets. They can also use your phone to send spam or attack others. Losing control of your phone is scary. That is why it is so important to protect your device and your information. You can stop most attacks with simple steps. First, always update your phone and apps. Updates fix security holes that hackers use. Never download apps from unknown sources. Stick to the official Google Play Store. Use strong passwords and turn on two-factor authentication. This makes it harder for hackers to get in, even if they have your password. Be careful with links and attachments in messages. Avoid using public Wi-Fi for important tasks. If you must, use a VPN. Install a good security app and run scans often. If your phone acts strange, check for unknown apps or settings. Share these tips with friends and family. The more people know, the safer everyone will be. Hackers are always looking for new ways to break in, but you can stay ahead by learning and staying alert. Never ignore strange messages or pop-ups. Remember your phone is like a small computer. It needs protection just like your laptop or desktop. Stay curious, but always act with care. Keep learning about cybersecurity. Follow for more tips and updates.